where is college game day going for week number nine? And we got a lot of options here. Uh, now, obviously, this all just depends on what happens in week eight. We are getting to that point in the year where one loss can take a team completely out of something or a big win can put them in position for something that we just really did not expect at all. I mean, we saw that last week with Tennessee. Nobody was really talking about them for the college football playoff, and yet here they are, top three in the country. Everybody's got them in their playoff bracket now. You never know. Uh, so here are some options for next week. I'll go on and toss this one out there. Notre Dame at Syracuse. No, Notre Dame has not been very good. But if Syracuse finds a way to get an upset at Clemson, and don't put it past them, that defense is nasty. Sean Tucker, pretty awesome on the ground. Obviously, he's going to have a day with that defensive line for Clemson. But Syracuse finds a way to win that game on the road? Yes, absolutely. I think game day would go there first. And the reason behind that is, one, it's Notre Dame. Like, any time they come in, it's always going to be a big game, uh, regardless of whether or not they've got a good record. Or not. And they certainly do not have that right now. I think they're sitting at 3-3. Three and three. But uh, Syracuse, undefeated. They'll be top 10 if they beat Clemson. And it's a place that game day has never been. So, stick that one in your back pocket. Uh, Oklahoma State at Kansas State. This would require two upsets. Kansas State is on the road at TCU. Oklahoma State is at home against Texas. Both of them are underdogs. And I don't know that we'll be able to get both, but, you know, you get Kansas State to win at TCU, yeah, you could you could probably start thinking about that one. Uh, it'd be a hard sell with Oklahoma State losing two straight, though, if they were to lose to Texas. Uh, Ohio State at Penn State. Now, obviously, this one is a pretty easy sell uh, because anytime the Buckeyes go anywhere, I mean, that's going to be something. But uh, the next one, Penn State, uh, you got to beat Minnesota. If you end up losing to Minnesota, that's going to be rough. So, yeah, you, you can't go to Happy Valley if Penn State has lost two games in a row. Florida and Georgia. Now, this would have been a much easier sell had Florida beaten LSU. But, uh, I mean, Georgia, maybe, maybe you can sell that. Uh, it is a big rivalry game, so maybe you sell that. Pitt at North Carolina could be very interesting. North Carolina, uh, only one loss on the season. I mean, you get a win this weekend? Okay. Like, yeah, maybe maybe we got something that we're working with in Chapel Hill. The game that I believe that ESPN is going to go to next week is Cincinnati at Central Florida. I think UCF is going to beat ECU this weekend. I think Cincinnati is going to beat uh, SMU this weekend. So that is what I'm going to make my prediction for. I think Cincinnati heading to Orlando is going to be the basically the AAC title game because uh, you might see this matchup again in just a few weeks. But I think UCF may be the best team in that conference. Just throwing that out there. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.